What is up, guys? I thought I'd uh, start this up finally. Um, as I'm kicking around a box that's under my thing. Uh, but I haven't got around to starting the new play of the actual story mode when uh, doing this. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade. Oh, I, I need to go into character. Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals, and in fact may have much more interesting if more challenging earlier game. Blah blah blah. I am going to be male. I'm going when you were born years ago in a land far away, my father was a veteran warrior. As a child, your family scrabbled out a meager living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence and you were too poor to get much of the education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself in the streets with or without a weapon in, in your hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent most of your early life as a steppy child. Boy, growing up out of the childhood, you were the great steppies on a horse of your own, learning the ways of the grass and the desert, although you sometimes went hungry and you became a skillful hunter and pathfinder in this tactless country, trackless country. Your body too started to harden with muscle as you grew into the life of a nomad man. Then as the young adult life became, changed as it always does, you became a game poacher. Through the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed strange around you. Dissatisfied with common men's desperate scrabble for coin, you took to the local lord's own forest and decided to help yourself to its bounty. Laws be damned. You hunted stags, boars, and geese and sold the precious meat under the table. You cut down trees right under the watchmen's noses and turned them into firewood that warmed many freezing homes during winter, all of for a few silvers, of course. But soon everything changed. You decided to strike out on your own adventure. What would you would make the decision was personal <laughs> wonderlust. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. You're not even sure when your home became a prison, when your fam familiar became mundane, but your dreams of wandering have taken over your life. Whether you earn for some faraway place or merely from open road and yearn for some permanent open road <laughs> and to the freedom to travel, you could no longer bear to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny! Allow me to go without saving. Cause fuck that. My name, John Jacob Jingle Heimit Schmidt. Damn it. Alright. Uh, serious name though. How about Jody Joe Jared J Jared? What the fuck am I doing? Muscles. I don't know. Let's let's hustle our stuff real quick. So strength is very important. Charisma could help, and intelligence. I don't want to be stupid. So iron flesh increases hit points by plus two. That's helpful. Uh, I always enjoy uh, bows. So let's go with power draw. Uh, weapon master. Weapon master makes it easier to learn weapon proficiencies and increases the proficiency limits. Uh, I don't really. Meh. Writing is very important. Or so archery is very important. Tracking. Where's. Isn't there just. Oh, wait. Tree. Uh, leadership. Good. I'm already a leader. So I don't need to mess with that. Iron flash. Power strike. Each point to the skill increases melee damage. To the skill throwing damage. Powerful bows. Well, let's go with uh, shield. No, I don't. I don't use shields. Looting. Looting could be helpful. Tactics. I don't know. Inventory management. I'll go with that. Uh, Two-handed weapons are my main thing, but I also very much enjoy archery. So. And now we shall name our character Hunter. No. 
We need a fearsome name. Something, something everyone would know to fear. Something people could learn. Darth Vader. Yep, that's our name. Done. Ew. It's weird how this character right here looks so young compared to this character. It's weird how sometimes things could do that to you. Slick the hair back. Uh, age very. Oh no. Fuck that. Have to be very, very old. Can't get black hair though. Would like to get black hair. I guess I should just randomize it and then decide on how I want. Like, ooh, wait, like that. But I want the that. No. Yes. Yes. Done. That'll work. Hear about Cal Calradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a ha haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their mer lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventurers will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Calradia and its kingdoms, you Okay, because this is what I couldn't really decide. I didn't know which one. Now the Nords of course are Swedish. Vagers, I believe, are Russian. Kingdoms of Swadia. Uh, Russian and then like Swadia was I don't really want Swadia though but I was seriously debating this and either I want to be part of the Middle East the Serenids or the Kyrgyz which are Mongolians and because but the only thing the only problem with was this is because of my archery I really want to become a Vager because they're heavy archers they are really good but these guys are really good at horseback archery because you know they still follow that and Roddicks are good with crossbows, so Roddicks are out. The Nords are just like great, like, f infantry men. Uh, Vagers, of course, great archers. Swadians uh, have great uh, horseback knights. Gary gets horse archers. And Serenids. I can't remember what the Serenids have that are so great. I honestly can't. Oh, wow. That was stupid. Don't know which one I just. You are exhausted by the time you find the end share is and fell so quickly. Slumming from the scabbard. I guess I'm joining the Serenet. Alright. <laughs> oh god, my controller is on and it works. What? How? Oh, I guess I shot, I guess. What's my... Oh. Ugh. Oh, that's the merchant. Are you alright? Well, I, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure what we could say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although, heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside out. Here, we don't know who's listening. Indifferent. Click to view notes. The mouse merchant takes you to the house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinces you have not been followed. Comes near you to speak. I guess this is how I'm going to learn about the Serenids. Is by accidentally... That's how I kick. I don't know. Now let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in wild and venturing into town, looking for unweary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontier. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who help them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking, a lad from a prominent house, out alone after dark at times like these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things had become. He had no such excuse, but he's family, so what can you do? 
If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either, and I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon uh, send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade, and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly, so you wouldn't be coming to Calradia to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to the lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? I am definitely interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself with all the though. If you try to take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant you'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work that's more interesting than tilling the soil of or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So take this person 100 denaries, consider it an advance on your reward. Go around to go to the villages and use money to hire some help. I reckon you need at least five men to take up care of these.